What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at a trailer for The Invisible Man. It's a reboot of the 1933 film of the same name. Uh, and this movie stars Elizabeth Moss and Oliver Jackson Cohen. It's interesting because I could have sworn uh, that a little while ago The Invisible Man was going to be starring Johnny Depp. But I guess that in light of some recent allegations against him, the you know studio decided, yeah, we're just going to go with <laughs> with some unknown guy. I'm not sure if Oliver um, Cohen has been in other stuff, uh, but he's not Johnny Depp. Uh, and uh, Universal Pictures started this whole dark universe thing a few years ago with The Mummy starring Tom Cruise. That film didn't really do well at the box office, so it seems like they kind of went dark for a moment and reconfigured what they were trying to uh, do. So it seems like instead of uh, uh, connecting every single movie kind of like the MCU did, they're going to focus on more, uh, you know, smaller uh, personal stories uh, to create this universe. So they haven't dropped the universe thing yet. They're just doing it in a different way. But I'm excited for this film because, you know, it's Elizabeth Moss. I think that she's a very underrated actress. I like a lot of the stuff that she does. And The Invisible Man is just something that we haven't gotten in a, in, in a while. Like, I mean, unless you count Hollow Man, which I personally really liked, even though I can admit that that movie was quite horrible. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch this trailer. See what the Invisible Man has to, has to show us. As the attorney representing Adrian's trust, I'm required to read a prepared statement. Cecilia, although our relationship was far from perfect, I thought that you would talk to me rather than run away. Are you okay? What happened to him? He cut his wrist for his final wishes. You're getting five million dollars. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. It can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. It just doesn't make any sense. What? Adrian wouldn't kill himself. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? Don't let him haunt you. Hello? Well, that was a lot different than I expected. <laughs> uh, that, that was actually very different from, from what I was expecting. Um, so it's basically your, your regular horror fair. It's kind of like a slasher film with a, with a bit of a twist. Uh, crazy ex-boyfriend finds a way to make himself invisible and decides to uh, torture uh, Elizabeth Moss's character for the duration of, of the film. I do feel like the trailer definitely showed a lot of footage, uh, probably too much. I feel like I know, like, I feel like I saw a piece of every act in, in this movie in chronological order, 
and I don't know if that was intentional. I'm not sure why people do this when they cut trailers. They just show the entire film, but just shortened. I feel like I don't need to see the movie at some point. I know that Elizabeth Moss is going to find a way to see him. They're going to fight, and she's probably going to win. Uh, and, you know, he's probably going to be killing all her friends and everything, uh, you know, as he gets more insane as the film goes goes on. It doesn't mean I won't watch the movie, but it really does, you know, make you question whether or not it's worth seeing at this point. Um, but, I mean, it looks interesting at the very least. I'm not sure if it's worth going to the show to see, uh, because it just seems like something we've seen before. If you've seen Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon, uh, it wasn't exactly the same thing, but it was a guy who turned invisible. He went crazy while he was invisible, and then he started to pick off all of his uh, co-workers in this, in this secret lab. And, you know, that's, that's basically what that film was about. And this one just kind of turns that on his head and just has a crazy ex who does the same exact thing. So, is it really that interesting? I guess it just depends on how interested you are in seeing a horror film about a crazy ex-boyfriend who's invisible. <laughs> I don't know. doesn't really seem like it's for me, but we'll see as they uh, ramp up the promotional materials for this film if it's something that I'll be willing to check out or not. Uh, maybe they didn't show everything in this trailer and I'm just being dramatic. I guess we'll just see. What did you guys think of the trailer? Are you excited for The Invisible Man? Have you seen the 1933 film? And do you think that the changes that they made in this movie is uh, is going to help the story at all? Or do you feel like this is just this is just stupid? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button. And do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will know when I post again. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay dope. Do it! There you are.